Welcome back to another TryHackMe walkthrough. Uh, today we're focusing on Agent Pseudo and we are going through this easy box together. So let's have some fun. Let's uh, let's hack and uh, let's, yeah, learn. Okay, so I've already started up the box and we'll just make sure that it is indeed live and we can uh, see it if, as long as ping packeting is allowed, which in this case we are. So we're on the VPN. We have a little welcome message. Oh, beautiful, thank you. Good to be here. Uh, so let's enumerate. As we always do, we wanna go ahead and uh, see what's uh, running on this system. So I'm just going dash VV, uh, verbosity or verbosity, see, uh, see the output of our results. And I am in the habit of just going dash capital A to uh, run all scripts and um, other things against it. So we have three open here. So we can go ahead and chuck that in. Next up, how you redirect yourself to a secret page. So page, like web pages, we can see here we've got 2.2 uh, for, um, is this SSH or is that, yeah, 21's FTP, SSH, and then 80, right? Um, so yeah, we can confirm that once it's done. So we have 21, yep, FTP, SSH is on 22, and then 80 for HTTP. Yep, always got to remember our protocols. Um, they'll eventually sink into my brain. Let's go with our... Uh, our room and what it's directing us to. So let's go to, and here we go. Dear agents, use your own code name as user agent to access the site. So how do we redirect ourselves? Um, and this is sort of showing us the way we need to go. And that's why I really like this box is it sort of has these great check-ins telling us which way to go. So user agent is what we're after. What is a user agent? Um, so this is how the, uh, the actual site knows what type of like device is visiting the site. It's probably a very simplified way of explaining it. Um, but you know, we're currently in a browser, so it has a user agent of a browser. If we were on a phone, we have a user agent, agent of a phone. So we need to essentially change our user agents. What we can do is uh, inspect um, to get our web dev tools up. And over on the right here, we've got uh, three dot icon, we can go to more tools and we can go to network conditions. Here, we have what user agent um, we're using. So if I go by like default, um, you know, we've, look, we've got different browser user agents. We've got all, um, yeah, different user agents. But what we need to do here is actually have ours as something unique. So we can uncheck use default uh, and then we can just put in our own. So this took me a little bit of figuring out, but if you go to um, this, it actually tells us here on the hint. So yeah, cool. If we hit that and then we can hit refresh, we can see here agent underscore C uh, underscore attention PHP has now popped up. Attention Chris, do you still remember our de deal? Please tell me agent J about the stuff as soon as possible. Also change your goddamn password, it's weak from agent R. Done, enumerate the machine. Time to brute your way out. FTP, all right, so let's go back to our results. Um, usually I do spend a little bit of time, you know, going through here, but since I have done this box, I didn't spend too much time in the video, so I apologize for that. So the tool we wanna use is going to be Hydra, okay? So this is a tool, so we can run that and we can see a bit more information here, a bit of a help menu. Um, and we want to specify a few conditions to break in via FTP. At the moment, if we were to FTP into this, we have Chris's username, but we don't have his password. The hint here is brute force, and it's not really a hint, they're telling us how to get in. So our Hydra tool, we need a few things. Um, so first we need to specify our user, which is Chris. Uh, and then we need to specify our password list that we're going to pass through to it. And I'm just gonna I'll go like this. And then we wanna make sure we go dash V, uppercase V to see the output, just like an end map, which is um, dash VV. And then we can specify the IP that we're going to and then the type of uh, protocol that we're going through. So the last thing is the amount of, I think this this is tasks or threads, is how fast essentially we can do it. I think by default it's at 16, 
um, and we'll actually see the output of this, but we can go much faster um, at 32, 64. And I, I don't really know if this is like how limited this is for the tool or it just comes down to hardware, but I'll go 64. Okay, I uh, didn't actually get it. I had an error, so I'm gonna run it um, and I'm gonna change the task number. Uh, I'm gonna turn it back down to 32 this time. All right, and there we have it. Our host, our login and our password. So we can save that off and now we can go ahead and go into FTP as Chris and type in our password of Crystal. Great, and now we're in. So we can list out everything here and we can see a few files. So what we can do is run mget to grab everything, say yes three times, get everything, and then we can go ahead and exit out of that and see what we've got and what we are working with. Great, so I uh, wanna list it out. I like to run a file um, star, so for all, just to have a quick look at what we're going with. So we have a JPEG image, we have a PNG image and we have a text file. So lowest hanging fruit here is our text file. So let's go ahead and print that out. Uh, just remember to put crystal in here. So we have a zip file password, zip file password. Interesting. So what we've copied, we don't actually have any zip files. So this is, I guess, a clue there should be something in here, right? So let's read our message. Dear Agent J, all these alien, all these alien look photos are fake. Mm. Agent R stored the real pictures inside your directory. Your login password is somehow stored in the fake images. It shouldn't be a problem for you. All right, so next up is somehow we need to examine our images. So if we go over to what they actually look like, um, we can see them here. We need a tool to look at them properly. So uh, this is where I needed to cheat a bit and find a tool because I uh, couldn't find one straight away. So bin walk was what I found. Uh, this will a this is able to walk the binary of, uh, of our file. So we can see here by running that, we have our help menu. So we can have bin walk our options and then uh, files. So if we just write bin walk um, and then we've got our two files. So we got a JPEG and a PNG. So if we go to that JPEG for one, we can see here that this holds no other information. It's, it's just the image. Okay, so let's try again, uh, this time looking at the PNG. Okay, first we see our image, but next, well, what, look what is indeed hidden in here. Um, so we can see a, a, a zipped archive file that looks like there's a text file in there. Crazy. So if we go through the man page or the help page again, we can find, I believe it's dash E for extract and we can run that. Okay, let's just see if we indeed got anything. So running LS again, does give us underscore uh, PNG extracted. So let's go, that is a directory so we can CD into it. And we can see here indeed we have our files. So let's see if there's anything else hidden in there. Let's run file against everything. So we've got our Z lib compressed, our zipped archive data at least. So this really got me for a while. I was like, okay, we see that there's em there's nothing in the, there's zero bits of information in our text file, which is um, pretty interesting. So our focus uh, is here. Can we, you know, we can try and cat this stuff out, but like it, it's all encrypted or compressed or, you know, we can't actually make anything out of it. So we need to do something else. We can indeed, if we look at our hint, we've seen Mr. John, Mr. John being a great tool. So we can actually run zip to John and we can run that against our zip file there. And what that's gonna do is actually pull out the hashes that we need to crack. If we actually run that, but then output it into a new file, so we can just call this like hash. If we go and look at that hash file, Here's everything in that zip format. Then it's as simple as just running John against that hash file. So you'll see something different 
because I've already actually cracked this, it's already saved. Uh, and you will indeed see on your screen the zip file password that is alien. So great, now we've got our password that we can actually get into our file. So if we run, and you might need to download um, 7-zip. So if you sudo apt install and then go 7-zip, and this is how we're actually gonna look at the file. And then we can run 7z and e for extract, and we actually run it against our 365.zlib. And we go, yes, what's our password? Well, we just cracked it. We can type that in, which was alien, and then we get something interesting. If we look at our file all again, we'll notice that our text file, which had no data, that was indeed empty. Uh, this was zero bits and this was um, just no data, now has 86 bits in it. We actually have some ASCII text. So if we go and cat that out, here we have agent C. We need to send the picture to something as soon as possible. All right. So this is our next clue. We need to do something with this. Um, so we can actually throw this into like a hash value and we can find that this is base 64. Uh, so what we can do is echo that and pipe it through a base 64 tool and then decode it. And here indeed, we have our area 51. Great. So what do we do now? Well, we have a password. And if we remember that we had another image. So if we can see here, let's go back to that image. Let's CD back and let's actually unlock the password using something for Steg. So after a bit of research, I found Steg Hide was the tool that we were looking for. So we want to extract from this JPEG image the data that's hidden in here. So we can run it using SF. Um, so this is just specifying uh, the file that we want to open, which is our JPEG. And then we want the password, which as we just got was area 51. And look at that, wrote extracted data to message TXT. So if we list out our files, here we have our message TST. Let's go ahead and run that. And indeed we get our second name, James. Alrighty, glad you found, uh, you find this message. Your login password is hacker rules. SSH password? Don't ask me why the password look cheesy. Ask agent R who set this password for you. Your buddy, Chris. Okay, so now it's telling us where to go, which in this case is SSH. And we're gonna be logging in as James with our new password that we found of hacker rules, exclamation mark. All right, it's task four, capture the, the user flag, you know the drill. So we've successfully SSH'd into, and we have two things, the user flag, great, that's easy. Let's go and cat that out and grab that. Next, what is the incident of the photo called? So in order to get this photo and open it up, I'm not sure how to do it, when we're SSH'd if we can do it. So what we can do in turn is we can actually just copy this over. So if we go back to our terminal, we can run secure copy. We can use the dash R and we can log into James and we can log in at our IP address and we need to specify, usually we go like home James because this is where the file is that we want to get. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to this, if you just leave it blank, it's the directory. And then this is the directory that we want to copy it to. Password is hacker rules. Cool. So that's copied over everything, including the images, what we're after. Um, I had like a bunch of trouble with this. So this is the recursive switch that I've just used uh, because this is the only way I could get it to work. Uh, but hey, it does a trick. So now we've copied over our JPEG. We can just navigate there and we get this creepy image. Now this image did look a little familiar. I'm like, I swear I've seen this. Um, and if we look at our hints, it says to reverse image and Fox News. So I'm like, okay, this is an article somewhere. So I was recently just watching an OSINT video on David Bumble's uh, channel and they actually recommend Bing search. Uh, so there is some use for Bing. 
So if we plug in this image, we can start to see some similar results and it's a pretty common image. So the first thing I saw here was most famous UFO hoax. I was like, ah, okay, that's probably where I've seen it. So if we look up Fox News alien hoax, we can see here we have the Roswell alien autopsy. Uh, so this is the Fox News article that uh, they're referring to. So great, so that's just a little bit of fun. That doesn't actually lead anywhere um, further. So next up, we've got task five, privilege escalation. Time to get real. So CVE, number for escalation. So this really stumped me. <laughs> Um, I had no idea what to do, uh, but I remembered from the last capture of the flag I did running dash L with the sudo command will show us indeed what we can run. And when we run that, we can actually run bin bash. So with a bit of a search of exploit bin bash, we can find indeed we have a security bypass for sudo 1.8.27. Now, I only knew this because I've done other Capture the Flags. Uh, I'm not sure how else to discover this. And we can indeed confirm that this is the right one. It says here um, that we can take advantage of it by simply running the exploit of this. So if we copy that into our terminal, that indeed switches it us over to root. Change directories into our root. We can indeed see our root text. So if we go and cat that out, we have to Mr. Hacker, congratulations on reading this box. This was the design for Try Hack Me, blah, blah, blah. Your flag is this, we can submit that. And we have indeed the creator of the box, Hell, as our last bonus. So there we go, there was pseudo, uh, Agent Pseudo, uh, Try Hack Me Room. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something along the way. This was actually one of my favorite CTFs because I didn't cheat <laughs> and I, I really, really, really tried to get through it and I found the flow of this room to be really good. I enjoyed the hints, they didn't give too much away, they also weren't too mysterious that you didn't quite understand what you needed to do. So there was a good balance between um, being challenging and enjoying. Uh, so I'm excited to go on to more Try Hack Me rooms that are of this sort of quality uh, and this sort of format. So yeah, if you like this sort of thing, please let me know. Um, if you have any questions or any issues, anything didn't make sense, uh, please ask. I'll do my best to answer. Otherwise, if you would like to subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, I have a monthly newsletter if you'd like to subscribe to that, which I talk about cybersecurity and my learning path. So there's some good info there. Otherwise, uh, please reach out over Twitter if you would like to chat more. I'm always keen to get to know other people learning in cybersecurity. Uh, so with all that being said, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.